Well, hello, sports fans. I'm Harry, and this is Harry Stuff and Such. And today, I'm talking about this. My Pusa i3 Mark III. So stick around. And welcome back. As I said in the intro, today I'm going to be discussing the Pusser i3 Mark III that I received back in April. Now, I ordered it in February, and this is May. And as I said, I got it in April. And since the time that I finished the assembly, I uh, see I have put uh, 217 hours and 24 minutes of print time on it, and I have printed about uh, 12,640 meters worth of filament. So I, I have, uh, the short time that I've had it, I actually have put some uh, time in it, on it. Um, it's been a, a lot of fun. One, like I said, one thing that's really nice is it's quiet. Normally I wouldn't be able to sit here with a printer beside me and talk about it. So that is one of the features. So what have I printed? Well, so far I have printed with uh, PLA, I have printed with ABS, and I have printed with PETG. I have used uh, PLA from Hatchbox and of course the PLA that was delivered with the Booster i3 Mark III. And then I have the print with eSun uh, ABS as well as Hatchback ABS and Hatchback PLA. I'm sorry, uh, PETG said PLA. So what have I printed? Well, I printed most all the uh, items that were on the SD card that come with the Mark III. So the first thing I printed, uh, of course, or one of the first things I printed, of course, was a Benji that was on the, um, and this Benji was printed in blue uh, Hatchbox PLA, and it turned out quite well. Uh, one of the better Benchies I've done. It's really good. Uh, also, of course, I printed out their little whistle, the JP whistle. Uh, I've done the uh, Linda. I did that with the Hatchbox PLA and it turned out really well. And then I switched over to the uh, uh, PLA that uh, comes with the Mark III. Let's see, so here's the uh, Nefertiti bust and it turned out quite well, as well as the Triceratops head uh, and also the castle. I did those with the with the PLA that comes with the Mark III. Also did some chain mail and it turned out well it's, it looks quite good it's very flexible. Had to work it a little bit to get initially after I pulled it off the plate but it worked well. Uh, the articulating butterfly download off the Thingiverse. It uh, works really well had no problems with this. This is Hatchbox white PLA that I did it in. Uh, see, I've started building a Saturn V and I have printed out the uh, nozzles for the first stage engine, all five of them. And along with that, there was a part that this is probably the smallest part that I have printed so far with anything. Yeah, it's very small, it's 20 millimeters, and in diameter it's just a few. Uh, and so it did well with it. It has the detail. Uh, let's see, printed a Pet G Benchy, and it turned out well. One thing I found with the Pet G was I needed to, um, in order for it to adhere to the print bed without putting any glue uh, on top of that was I had to slow the first layer down to 15 millimeters per second. And once I did that, I had no problem getting it to stick to the bed. And of course, one of the major features of the Mark III is having that sprung steel print bed that when you pull the print bed off, bend it, parts just pop right off. Now that is cool. That is a big feature that I love. Uh, no more having to sit there and scrape it uh, to get it to come off. I really like that. Um, let's see, like I said, I've printed with ABS. This is some eSun ABS. This is a, a stud and a screw that I've made with the ABS. 
Uh, see, I've also printed, um, this is a bottle holder. It's out of uh, black ABS. Uh, all in all, the prints have all turned out well. They've all been very accurate. And uh, it, the other thing I like about the printer is it's fast. Mm. Excuse me for that. I have a little sore throat this morning and it's getting a little dry. So like I said, the, to me so far the uh, two biggest uh, pros for it is it's quiet and as well as the spring sp steel plate. It's also fast. It's faster than I'm able to print with my A8, of course. Um, but there are a couple of cons or, or annoyances or minor issues. Uh, one being that uh, it showed up when I was printing with the PETG, and that was when the cooling fan uh, was not running at 100%. Uh, you hear a audible, at least for me it's audible, uh, high-pitched frequency whine, and that's probably due to the uh, PWM because if you run the part cooling fan at 100% you don't hear it as soon as you slow it down uh, to about 60-70% you start hearing this high pitch whine. At first I thought my tinnitus was getting worse but it wasn't it. I don't think you can hear it in uh, this video but I can hear it right now. Uh, the other thing that uh, is uh, a minor issue is the extruder motor gets really hot. I mean, at some points at long prints, it gets to the point where you can't touch it. I mean, it's probably running around 100 degrees C, which seems to me a bit extreme. And so I will probably try to put some heat sinks on it to help uh, cool it down on some of those long prints. Because so far, I think the longest print I've done was like 19 hours, and it got pretty hot. Like I said, it was too hot for me to even touch it. But other than that, I think the Mark III is a really good printer. It's been worth the money. Like I said, I bought the kit, and I was even chronicling it. It was easy for me to say. I was even trying to chronicle the uh, bill process. Uh, I have an unboxing video and a uh, video that shows assembling the uh, X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, I had started on one on the extruder axis, but for some reason, uh, after step 25, all my video disappeared, and I don't have any backups, and so I won't be continuing any of the uh, build series on the Mark III just because I lost all my video. Um, so that's about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But hey, how about leaving a comment? Um, in particular, leave some comments about what you think I could do to improve my channel or this channel because I'd like to make it ju not just my channel, but uh, a channel that every for the viewers as well as myself. I'm enjoying having fun with the 3D printing, and even though all this is called Harry's stuff and such, it seems to have uh, morphed into more of a, a 3D printing channel than anything else j just because that's what I'm interested in at the time. That may change. Um, I'll try to throw up some of my drone uh, footage, uh, maybe some of my PC cooling, uh, PC building um, projects, uh, water cooling on the PC, overclocking, that sort of thing. I'll try to get some more of those in. But uh, like I said, leave a comment on what you'd like to see. Uh, something that you might like to see me print with the, uh, one of the 3D printers. Uh, there's the A8 in the background. There's, uh, of course, the MK3 that's sitting in front of me. I'm uh, building, a, uh, I guess, a clone of an MK3 from scratch. I uh, also got an FL uh, Sun uh, Delta, and uh, we'll see how, you know, just what you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, if there's any other items besides uh, 3D printing that you'd like to uh, discuss, or if you have any questions about the printers that I have, leave me a question. Uh, but uh, like I said, also leave me a comment on what you think could help improve the channel. Also press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I would also like to thank all those who have subscribed. You may be small in number, but you're great in effect. And I appreciate you uh, subscribing and sticking with me. So until next time, 
This is Harry from Harry Stuff and Such. Wishing you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you on the backside. Take care now.